hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have my fall home decor tour so let's start by the outside right here i have a haystack that i grabbed from walmart two pumpkins that i also grabbed from walmart and these two baskets that i put together just to give it a different little touch you know give it a little rustic look and then i also have these mums that i picked up at home depot and i just love the yellow because it makes it like bright and i don't know just so fall like and up here i have this little sign that i grabbed from the dollar tree store last year but i just painted the those leaves that you see the white ones they were actually orange but i just painted them with white paint and put some gold glitter on it so just give it more like my theme that i go with which is usually white and grays and um, browns so up here on top of my door i just have this broom that i picked up from tj maxx last year and then over here on the left side of my door uh, right by my doorbell i just have this little sign that says fall in love that i also picked up at the dollar tree store but i also painted it white and put these um little bows in the middle and i just love how it turned out i don't know it just makes it look more fancier i don't know it's you know it makes it look more pretty to me but i mean in orange is still beautiful but i just really like the white just because it goes better with my color scheme in my house so this is how it looks outside my house i didn't go all out but i mean i still wanted to give it a cozy feeling right before i come in so that's why i wanted to add some pumpkins and add some mums i don't know i mean what else says fall more than mums and some pumpkins right so yeah it just puts a smile on my face right before i come in So when you come inside my house, I have this entertainment center on the left side. And here I just kept it pretty simple. I didn't add too many things just because I feel like I get distracted when I'm watching TV. So yeah, I just put these candle holders that I already had from Kirkland's. And I added a pumpkin on the right side and also this vase with some pine cones. Um, so here you're going to be seeing a close up so if you see a crack on the top of this pumpkin don't mind it um, my kids did break it but i still love this pumpkin i got it last year at tj maxx and i just love the way it is i mean what it says it says grateful thankful blessed and even though it broke i still love the pumpkin i mean it's and that happens when you have small children in the house things get broken but it doesn't matter i still love the pumpkin and you can't really tell when you're far away that is broken and over here on the left side i just have these candle holders that are from kirkland's and i added these cream color they're they're not white they're like an off-white cream color candles and yeah on the bottom i just have this pumpkin that i love this is my favorite pumpkin of all that i have right now for this fall i got this from home goods and I just really love this pumpkin. It's so Cinderella to me and it's just really pretty pumpkin. I just know that I'm gonna have this pumpkin for a long time and throughout many falls. All right guys, so when I finished filming this video, I realized I hadn't put my blankets in the couches. So uh, yeah, this is the blankets that I'm using right now for the fall season. This one, I just got it from Costco. Um, and it's a very nice material, it's very thick, so it's very warm and cozy at night when you get kind of cold. And then this other one over here, I got it from Mexico City when I was on vacation over there. But it's really nice, it's not so um, thick, it's more thin, thinner mater material, so. Yeah, it's very nice. So it just kind of goes with all the white and gray that I have in the house. So yeah, this is all I have in my couch. It's nothing too much just because, you know, with small kids, 
you know, it's kind of hard to maintain things. So I just put two blankets that way when we're watching movies or something like that, having some hot chocolate or coffee. We just, you know, have something to warm up with if we're cold. Okay, so this right here, this table that I have, um, it's right when you come inside my house and I added this sign right here that I found at Home Goods, and it just says gather and it lights up. Um, it looks so pretty at night. Right now I lit it up so you guys could see how it looks, but you can turn it off if you like. And then I added this A Little Acorn from Hobby Lobby. Um, then I have this candle holder over here and right next to it I have this pumpkin that I love that was in my first home decor haul that I got at Ross and I was just able to find this one I wanted to find the smaller one because there was another smaller one than this one but I mean I have a little tea light in there electric tea light because you can't put a, little, a real candle in there so I just have it here it's right under this mirror high it's me and on the bottom of this I just put a basket and added a blanket so it would kind of warm it up and I just have this little stool down there too and then on this side over here I have this vase and I added these little white pumpkins and these branches that I also got from Hobby Lobby let's see you can see it's like right over here it looks so pretty and in this little corner that i have this little table <laughs> i guess it's a side table i just added this um pumpkin that i got also from home goods last year and it's gold and it's very see it has kind of like sparkles in there or glitter i don't know but it's really pretty and it's just simple it's a simple touch that you can just add like something to make it fall and this sign right here that says let's write the pages of our life together it's also from Hobby Lobby I got it right uh, like maybe a year and a half ago when we bought this house and my husband really liked it so I just put it there now on these three windows that I have in my dining room I just added this DIY garland that I did and I have this pumpkin right on top of it um i made a video about how i made this garland and it just says happy fall you can't really see it because it's really bright in here but let me turn down the light so you guys can see it but um yeah i also made this and i just added on here and it says happy fall you know it came out really pretty i also added added some star lights to it so you can kind of at night it glows it lights up so pretty now on my dining room I didn't really add anything to it um, I have these flowers here that my husband gave to me um, I didn't really add anything just because I just keep it simple because you know with kids and um, I don't like to you know be taking out everything that I need to take away before we can eat so I just kept it simple I just have these flowers here and of course this dining room is brown hopefully soon we can upgrade and get a different dining room because it doesn't really go with all my decor but I mean you know it's okay for now and right over here so i have this little stairs and here i just made this arrangement last year and i just put all these pumpkins different pumpkins that i made and made this little fall arrangement so i put that there and then i have this pumpkin over here and then on the bottom i just put this little acorn and i also added star lights on this now 
in my kitchen I didn't really add so many things I just put something here and there just to make it fall uh, inspired just so you know you can see that I added this little arrangement here in the corner and I just put this sign right there that says gather and this one is from uh, Target yeah from the Target dollar spot and this arrangement I DIY'd last year and then over here on this side of the kitchen I just put this little pumpkin um, that is also from the dollar spot Target dollar spot and I just put candies in there for my kids and then on the stove I just put these um, napkins or hand towels what I recall these yeah they just have um, little gray pumpkins and these I picked up at Home Goods but yeah I don't really have much in here just because I don't like to have a lot of things in my countertops but you can kind of see I'll give you a more distant look how it looks but this is all I added in the kitchen oh my god guys before I leave I wanted to mention this candle that I picked up from Bath and Body Works is the pumpkin apple I don't know what's up with these little lights over here flashing. I don't know if you see them. You see these? I don't know. I think it's from the candles. But anyways, I wanted to mention this candle over here. Um, it smells so delicious. Uh, I know everybody's into the leaves smell and the, I believe it's a marshmallow fireside or something like that. But if you get a chance to smell this candle, it is so amazing. Like, it just smells, it's not too sweet, not too much sugar smell. It's like... I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. It has like a cinnamon, cinnamony uh, apple pumpkin smell. Of course, right? It's called pumpkin apple. But anyways, if you get a chance to go and smell this and pick it up before the fall season is over at Bath & Body Works, go and, and smell it. You know, you don't go by my word, but just go ahead and smell it. I mean, it's a lovely smell. And I just went, came back right now and picked up this candle and I just had to mention it for the fall season. So yeah, I grabbed the candle and I also grabbed some plugins because the girl told me that it was only um, seasonal. So it's pretty much, this was the last candle there. So I had to grab it and bring it home. So yeah, I just put it up here. Um, it's by my, you know, entertainment center. So yeah, it smells so delicious. But anyways, yeah guys, I just had to mention it. So this is an overview of how everything looks from far away. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you. I also plan on blogging on my channel. So you're going to see me more behind the in front of the camera. Um, and this last videos have been behind the camera. But yeah, I have so many more videos that I want to make for you guys. I really enjoyed doing this. So yeah, come along and journey with me. So subscribe if you haven't. And yes to my next video. Bye guys.